Hi everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Mark Plant, and like I said, this is MPV Vlogs. Thanks for coming in. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. Uh, hit a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you so much. Uh, just hit that bell icon. You'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. So, what we're going to do here in this video is, I've got another unboxing. Comes a point in time when you actually have to replace gear. It gets old, it breaks down, and I'm on an extreme budget with the gear that I use. I can't afford to be going out and buying new gear every single week. Although for the past week or two, I've had to upgrade quite a bit. Just stuff wears out, breaks down, uh, nothing lasts forever. Uh, so basically what this video here is I am replacing my tripod uh, Cameras currently on it right now. I went and I purchased a new tripod from Amazon uh, The tripod that I have on right now It's I don't even know what the brand name on it is. It is a model number 6600 DX I purchased this at Walmart probably about 10 years ago for about 30 bucks. And other than me having to replace the head on it, it has stood the test of time. The clamps, the legs, everything is staying solid on it. But it's it's wearing out now. It's showing some wear. It's also not able to do everything that I want to do with it. So what I did was I went on to Amazon and purchased a newer tripod. So we're gonna open this puppy up and let's see what we got. Everything that I've looked at, it looks like it's a pretty good tripod. So let's go over to the table and let's see what comes in the box. All right, so we got the tripod up here on the desk. It's big, <laughs> it's gonna be big, so let's see. We can open it up here. Hopefully my voice is being captured by the shotgun mic. Slide this out here. In the box there is a nice clasp. Alright, so I think I'm going to be putting this thing together does come in a nice carrying case. I said I have quite a few newer products and I can't say a bad thing really about any of them. Uh, yeah, hopefully this one here doesn't ruin that. So let's see what's inside the bag. First of all, let's take the handle off is nice. And let's open it, open up the bag. Nice tripod. Okay, not sure what I'm gonna have to put together. It looks like it's all together. thing is heavy. It's got some weight to it. I am surprised with that. This is nice. Okay. All right, so let me show you what I have here. We're actually going to have to go back to the other uh, shot because I won't be able to show you here. It's going to be too big. So yeah, pretty straightforward, everything that came with it. So let's open this up and let's test it out. All right, like I said, Niwa always sends a lot of their, their lighting and stuff that you're gonna transport. 
It's a nice nylon case, sturdy zipper, nice handle, really nice to, to be able to move around. So this will be used. This is the newer 72 and a half inch, 360 degree ball head video tripod. This thing, like I said, this has got some weight. It comes with the extendable legs. Just twist and they extend out. They extend out. Let's make sure you lock them back up. Tripod goes out like this. I'm going to put it down on the ground. Actually, let me loosen the lid. There we go. Alright, you can see, the, look at this rather than my ugly face. Now, all of these pots are adjustable. We loosen here. This comes up and down. What I like with this is, I'm going to bring this all the way up, but there's a pin right here. That needs to be pushed in. And what we do, this is able to go sideways. So, if I lock this level, or somewhat level and loosen this I have to figure out how to do this but I can use it for a slider and I might have to put something to slide a little bit with the camera on here actually you know I'd have to bring it up or I can use it to zoom in and zoom out. I can also reverse the head on this so that I can get close to the ground. Uh, again, this area here, I really don't have too much room to show you that. Uh, what also works with this is Let's get this back into a tripod. Who's back as a tripod? Um, the only thing I wish I had, I wish I had a handle just for doing panning. Uh, but I mean, this is this is nice and solid, solid, you know, uh, carbon fiber. It's not aluminum; it's actually carbon fiber. This thing's going to work nice. It does have a bubble level here and oh, there's the other one the bubble level right here so to make sure your shot is nice and straight those that's the problem that I'm having with the tripod that I have now the one that this camera is on is I can't get the plate to level uh, this does have a detachable quick fit is right there so that'll go into right into the base of the camera uh, only thing I don't like with this is that one has a female on the bottom so rather than having to take this plate off to attach the camera to another tripod I wonder if I just put this on that plate I'll try that so let's see if it works but uh yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the camera off of my old tripod now attach this plate and let's see how this tripod works I'll put this up here for just for right now just to make sure i don't lose it okay so let's take this I'm going to tighten it into the other quick release just in case I have to 
use the old tripod and tighten this up. Okay, so that's nice and tight now. Okay, get together. Let's take the camera. And slide it in there. Screw this in to lock it down. It's got a little bit of play there. I'm not sure whether I like that too much. Take the ball head. All right, so we got that nice and level now. And remember to tighten things down. All right, so let, I'm gonna test out some of the shots now. Let's see if these work. This is how it does for pan. This is actually pretty good. This is pretty smooth. I don't have it leveled out or anything like that, but you get the general idea. That's not too bad. Let's see how it does a cider this way. A little bit better. Okay, it's hard to keep level. Yes, for a short distance, it would be good. Okay, so that's how I have the the tripod set up right now, so I can use it as a slider. Not sure whether it's designed to do that, but it'll work. All right. So next thing I do, let's see how high I can get this thing. Like I said, it's supposed to be seventy-two and a half inches. That's as tall as me. Oh, actually taller than me. No, 72. Uh, yeah, just a little taller than me. I'm 71 inches. So it should be just over my head. So let's see what this puppy looks like fully standing. There we go, everyone. It's extended to 72 and a half inches. You guys are way up there. This is great range for a, for a tripod. To be honest, I'm not even sure how I'll use it this way, but I'm sure I will. Let's see, as I come up to you, I think you're above my head. This can make, I could probably get some really good shots with it this way. So, yeah, I'm happy. So what I'm going to do right now, you guys may see my belly for a second here. And then, oops. Darn it. I'm gonna have to put some colors on these screws. There we go. Right on me here. Oh yeah, my lights are so low for the chair. See how that is. I'm lit weird, but this is nice. I'm gonna like this. Uh Still have some things I got to read up on exactly what they're for and how to use them, but I think this is going to work out really nice. All right, so that's the boxing of the Niwa 72 and a half, 72 and a half inch ball head video tripod. I think I got that right. The one other thing that I got to show you on how to use it, but I'm not exactly sure, is. The, one of the legs actually works as a monopod, so I'll have to figure out how to do that. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. i got to figure out how to keep this camera level. That's a little bit better. A um, couple of things that I don't like with it. <clears throat> Let me reach over here and get my old tripod. First of all, I don't have this. Uh, I don't know whether I can maybe take this off in this somewhere to put it in on the tripod uh, I don't think so I don't think that's gonna work uh, the other thing is on this tripod I have these supports here this tripod does not have them and there's a reason why it doesn't have them I can actually bring this tripod all the way to the ground uh, so the legs you know go way out but I feel more secure if I had them. Uh, if all of the the screws on the head are not tightened, 
this can be a little wobbly it's not too bad but yeah it's 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 an upgrade because like i said this one here this will be my backup now uh maybe for a b rope b camera i'll use it but um it's it's seen better days my crank to raise the head up and down my dog ate that off <laughs> uh but yeah so that's my review of the tripod thanks for coming in and watching i do appreciate it if you are new to this channel please hit that uh subscribe button if you like this video please hit the thumbs up leave me a comment if you're already a subscriber to this channel thank you very much hit that bell icon you'll get a notification anytime i put up a new video if you use a mobile device just make sure that notifications are allowed and you'll get the the information so with that i'm gonna end this video thanks for watching i do appreciate it and i will get back with you again real soon